Aha, it's you. Welcome to my channel. My name is Lovet and today we'll be discussing about your possible questions that you can get when you go to identify yourself for your interview at a Finnish embassy or a VFS global office for your residence permit or your visa to Finland. These that we're going to go through today are the most probable questions and what it revolves around. So let's get to it. One of the major topics that they want to ask questions around is about who you are. Introduction. The second section is relating to your studies. The third one they would want to know about is funding, fees, your tuition, your sponsorship if you have a sponsor. The fourth thing they would want to know about is your insurance, health insurance. So these four sections are the areas that you don't want to have like mumbling your mouth or being uncertain about your response. So moving forward, we're going to pick each section at a time and we're going to describe possible questions that arise from these topics. Stay tuned till the end of this video because I'm going to share with you guys tips, important tips on how to make sure that your interview goes as smoothly as possible. In the introductory section of this interview, they are going to ask you tell a bit about yourself or introduce yourself. Here you're going to tell them about yourself, what your name is, where you're from, and what you do for a living and a bit about your family if that is asked and then they are going to want to know about your your plan why you have come here today for instance like what brought you here then you would say like things like of course i got admissions and and um, i want to travel to finland for my studies that would move the interview to the second topic which is about your studies what about your studies? What program are you going to study? They would want to know that from you and they would ask you what is the duration of your studies. They might ask also, do you know anybody in Finland? Do you have a relation in Finland or a friend in Finland? How did you get to know about the study program? How did you even apply for it in the first place? Did you know anybody who helped you or did you do it yourself? What are you going to do next after graduation? Why Finland? Why did you choose of all the places in the whole world to come to Finland for this study program? And why did you choose the study program? So you have to have answers to these questions. You need to know a bit background about why and the advantages of studying in Finland so that you give it back to them. You need to know a bit, prepare yourself a bit on the study program that you are coming to study. Every information about the study program is always in the school website, so you are covered. You just have to go to your school website and go to the program that you got and you are gonna read enough to clear you when it comes to about your studies and stuff like that. Then the city where you are coming to study here in Finland. For instance, if you're coming to Yuvaskula or Tampere, you have to know a bit about the city. You have to know like the very basic information about the city. Then it's moving us to the third section of the interview, which is about finance. Finland immigrations don't play with finances. They want to know that you are comfortable, that you are capable financially to take care of yourself and your financial need during your stay in their country. On this sponsorship, you have to know your relationship between you and your sponsor because they are going to ask what is the relationship between you and your sponsor. And again, you have to know the nature of the business your sponsor is doing. Like I always say, it's very important. Ask your sponsors these questions. What nature, what businesses are they into? How much this your sponsor is making in a year, for instance? They would want to know that does this your sponsor have a family and is this your sponsor going to be able to keep up with his family and sponsoring you at the same time? Yes or no? And why is that? Why do you think so? It's always best to know too much and be ready to give as much information as asked than having a very little information bank and just looking at the, uh, your interviewer with this eye of like, I'm lost. You can be lost on that day. So we are getting you ready. So go read, go ask all the questions regarding your sponsor's businesses, how much is earning and how much is in his account as the balance at the moment. They might ask you that. And they will ask also how much you have as the balance in your own account statement because they want to know also that you have the money to take care of yourself. So these things they would want to ask, get yourself ready. Like imagine all these questions and ask, find answers to them and keep it in your bank of knowledge. 
And finally, on the insurance. You know the insurance companies that they already listed that you have to get your insurance from. You make sure that you get your insurance from those companies they mentioned. And as well, how long is this insurance? How much did you pay for the insurance in the first place? How long is it valid? It's usually one year on the list. How long is it valid? And how much of uh, health uh, uh, insurance is, how much in euros is that insurance going to cover financially? Usually it's about 50,000 euros. You have to know that the insurance you're having is covering your expenses when it comes to health what of so 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 and so amount of euros you should know that because it's in the insurance certificate and it is what you paid for so these are the informations that you should get into your head and feel comfortable with it so that you are going to convince these people that you are ready to come for your studies here in finland so now having said all these things i am going to share with you the tips i talked about in the beginning of this video first and foremost stick to the questions asked the, the thing about people is that they are always complicating themselves by giving too much information. I didn't say give too little, no. I just said that if you are asked about your finances, your money in your account, just say what is in your account and stick to that. If you're asked about your sponsor's finances, say what your sponsor's finances is about and stop at that. The thing is that providing too much, people always think that providing too much information is always good that they have a big picture. But sometimes providing too much information is actually exposing yourself. So it's always it's always best to give as much information as needed. Answer the questions and zip your mouth. Like I always tell you, if Finnish immigration needs additional documents or information from you, they would ask. So don't sell yourself out before you even get started. Tip number two is, do not make them feel like you're coming here for some other motive, like coming to live for the rest of your life in Finland, for instance. It's something that is very tricky. Sometimes it's always on the negative side that it feels like you are using the study program to come live in Finland, which is like two different things. So always try to push away that urge to say that I am coming to here to study and live here and enjoy Finnish society and you know like try to avoid showing them even if that is your intention that you actually intend to stay here for longer than your study duration don't do that for your own good and then last but not the least try to be on time at the interview place it is okay to be 30 minutes earlier than it is very bad to be two minutes late. Please guys, be there on time. So that's it for today's video guys. And I'm hoping that you are going to crush this interview, honestly. And I hope for the best for you. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, you are missing out. I can tell you that. So go do that and watch other of my videos that are very, very informative and can help you. The idea here is to promote each other and that's all I do. So guys, thank you for watching and see you guys in my next video. Bye.